there's a few steps as you go up into the house so you can't immediately see but so i went up the steps i could see then miss heard over on the right hand side the infamous Australian house where Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's two Yorkshire Terriers, Pistol and Boo, were held hostage after they were illegally smuggled into the country is now making news for other reasons. During the trial, Depp's house manager, Ben King, testified about finding the actor's severed finger inside the home after Amber allegedly threw a vodka bottle at him. Depp is said to have been pissed for wasting his time at the mega mansion and regrets taking Amber with her. So how luxurious was this mansion? So much that Depp wishes things had turned out differently. Let's find out. Located in the Oceanside city of Gold Coast in the Australian state of Queensland, Depp and Amber rented the home from MotoGP world champion Mick Doohan in 2005, while the actor filmed the fifth installment of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. Located on the Kumara River, the property boasts 40 acres with coastline views. According to a previous listing description, the house has a timber staircase, polished marble floors, and sandstone and limestone fixtures. The main bedroom of the home comes with a built-in cinema. Other amenities include an outdoor kitchen, a luxury pool, tennis courts, elevators, go-karts, and dirt bikes. The property also has its own helicopter hangar. The residence also served as a temporary home to Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie when they resided in the mansion while filming Jolie's Unbroken in 2013. Singer Pink and her motocross racer husband, Carrie Hart, have also reportedly stayed at the estate, so you would understand why Depp regrets not making the most of this elaborate mansion. The sprawling waterfront mansion boasts 10 bedrooms and 10 bathrooms and is dubbed Diamond Head. The abode has a large gourmet kitchen with an island, all marble countertops and backsplashes, as well as top-of-the-line appliances. Some of the other rooms in the house include an office, a lounge, a massive walk-in closet off the master bedroom, a gym, and a home theater. Depp himself acknowledged how vast the mansion was. The house they'd rented for me in Australia was quite a large place. I think I ended up locking myself in at least nine bedrooms, bathrooms that day as she was banging on the doors and screaming obscenities and wanting to have a physical altercation. Depp recounted the fight he had with Amber in that mansion. Other elite features include a tennis court, landing strip, marina, and 400 square meter concrete area used for cars, jet skis, boats, and to land your helicopter. The space sits directly outside a large shed with four offices on its mezzanine level. Other features on the manicured park-like grounds include a 500 square meter man cave with with a fully equipped bar, as well as a large al fresco area with a 20-meter wet edge pool and an entertaining pavilion with a teppanyaki grill and bathroom. Guests are well catered to with both a two-bed caretaker's cottage and a separate three-bed, two-bath guest house. The main residence with timber and marble finishes houses five ensuite bedrooms, multiple entertaining areas, a gym, lift, wine cellar, home theater, and a six-car garage. It was while living in this palatial residence that the former Hollywood power couple issued a public apology to the Australian authorities after the dog saga. Australia is a wonderful island with a treasure trove of unique plants, animals, and people, Amber says in the apology video. It has to be protected. Depp chimes in solemnly after the two Hollywood celebrities talk about Australia's biodiversity and unique people. Amber says, I am truly sorry that Pistol and Boo were not declared. Protecting Australia is important. It seems that as beautiful as this mansion was, Amber just couldn't allow Depp to enjoy his time there. And that's it from this video. Until next time, bye!